this matchup was Ivysaur all the time. Nowadays, this is, you need to play Squirtle a lot, which sounds wrong, but it's right. So, listen, what Ness needs to do versus all three characters is very different. He needs to be on his toes the entire time. Versus Squirtle, he's throwing out a lot of preemptive hitboxes. He's doing that thing where he kind of mashes close to you, and if you try to go in, you trade, which is bad for you. Bad for Squirtle. But when he changes to Ivysaur, those preemptive buttons need to stop completely. Because if you do them, you're just going to get outranged, and you're going to get bared, and you're going to get nared, and you're going to get razor leaked. So you need to, to mash while he's playing Squirtle, and then be patient when he's playing Ivysaur. Which is very interesting, and it's hard for, for the Vanessa's to change tempo like that so fast. But uh, the good ones can do it. All right, but ooh, giving himself a little bit of a chance to actually, I like that, change it up here. And, okay, yeah, this is, Ness is edge guarding. It's, it's that he can just rack up damage with that PK Thunder. Yeah. It's really good that Quid was able to get past it for him. But once again, being put at the ledge. Oh, I don't think he meant to do that. You saw he up yeah. here and he like actually landed on stage with up lag, which is very rare to see. All right, now Charizard against Ness. I mean, Charizard has the range in general. Just Ness, certainly. he has the range and he's the edge guard. Sure, yeah. The problem though is if Ness is in, Charizard can't do anything. Yeah. Charizard has to rely on one of his very like quick moves, like an up smash or up beat. Oh, he's doing so much damage off this opening. All right, good down tilt. Actually, missing the tech, but. Quid doesn't quite punish it all the way. I think he was expecting a tech ball in or something like yeah. that. Back air, he couldn't get the up air. He wasn't close enough to the platform. Back throw should not, be no, it, right? Down throw, oh wow, interesting. I thought the back throw wasn't going to kill, but he actually... Yeah, he well, down, down throw. throw, don't forget down throw is in fact right. a kill. Oh man, the range on that forward air is really, really good for it's, Ness. Yeah. Especially when he's recovering like that, when he needs a hitbox in front of him to get him back yeah. on the stage. Ness, in this match especially, does not want to be up being. As soon as he's up he's, he's up being off stage, he might as well just be signing his own death ticket. Right. So he's going to try as much as he can to use his double jump to make it back. Oh, Raising yeah. a lot, but Ness has, has options for that. And also it's worth noting how Tony is making well, sure oh, to be right above where those laser leaves are coming at him. That was the weak hit of uh, up smash. It has a weak hit very much behind it. Nice! I did not see that coming. Is that really a spot dodge there? I think he just true, true punished that. I think he had, like, he, I, I, I think grab is pretty laggy. He just was able to up smash it. Two up tilts. Ness up tilt is. I feel like whenever that move lands, it does so much damage. Yeah, or leads to so much damage. Is. Yeah, it's super disjointed as well. That's a great forward oh, tilt. that should be it. We should dare him out for oh. He did the, the long one. I like that. Where like the, the camera is panned so far, like it's so far in, that you can't see what timing he's doing on uh, his recovery. It's very, very good. Now, so we have to swallow projectiles, but a single punish might lead to huge damage. Wow, very greedy. He did the double up air, and then he just kept up air. Yes. Don't find that new ending option. Don't, you, don't, you don't kind of pick your options so fast. Okay, Tony right now has had 60%. And I mean, we haven't really seen back throw yet from Ness, but oh, please never really? forget about how strong it is. Back throw at the ledge right now will probably kill. I just throw maybe, maybe. At, at the very ledge, I yeah. think it will probably. Um, and look at that, he's like sort of at the ledge, having his back to it. Yeah, but Quid's not. Quid's camping him right now. This is. Dead. No, he's, oh. yeah, I did think so. Yeah, he's like, Quid's camping him like crazy right now. He doesn't need to commit any of that. <gasps> Wait, that should not, be No, it's not. It shouldn't be. Not yet. But this edge guard situation can definitely lead to death. Oh. oh. He went on an angle to avoid the dare. He saw him wait. He was like, you know what? I'm just going to try to like mix up my timing and end the best team for it. That, that's very unfortunate. Yeah, ended up being a really back and forth game. What, yeah. What, uh, what part of bracket are we in? This feels like pretty I think early. This is round three. This is round three or round, I think it might be round four, but really, still seeing these two. I mean, I think also Tony Padal is playing really well tonight. Yes, yeah, he did I, lose. He didn't. Uh, Quid took game one, but based on the way he was playing, that was super. Yeah. Well. And Quid is seated at no, I think four or third. Quid is seated at number three. No, yeah. number four. Number four. Miles is number three. But uh, yeah, I think that that definitely could have gone in Tony's favor. You know what? What he was doing differently. He was honestly 
using a lot more razor leaves. At the end, he was using so many razor leaves, and like it just made it hard for Ness to approach. He wasn't parrying oh. or anything. Oh, I like that fair. Excellent fair. You're dead. Oh. No, you're just dead. That's a zero to death. Yeah, he, he got caught by like a very inner hit of PK fire, and he just like was not ready to SDI. It. Oh, let's see. That. Oh, good up beat from Kid. That's an aggressive option you always have to be aware of whenever Pokemon yeah. is at the ledge. And already being able to dish out a lot of damage here. Nice drift on the. Uh, I mean, Ness is one of the best drifts in the game. You just saw it there. He's staying with Ivysaur specifically because he needs like a kill. Because he needs to to get back into this Oh, this game. might be a kill. No, down throw up is not going to be working at that oh, point. Oh, beautiful, beautiful option to pick right yeah. there. That Razor Leaf is a run-up down smash is super interesting, but he peaked it thundered very high, which I don't think was the best option there. I mean, he got away with it earlier. I think that's the reason he yeah. went for it. In game one, it worked out really well for him when he was trying to make it back. And he did get I away with it. But I don't think it's still punishment, you know? Yeah, well, if, oh, well, like if your opponent doesn't show you that, they know how to punish True. it. True. So in that situation, like, that's the third thing where I think Quid held on to the fact that he really knew that he could do that. Ness can take advantage of Squirtle's stubby landing options extremely well to get fired. fire. You just saw him do that. He changed to Squirtle and immediately tried to land with Fair, and he just got he took 40 for it. Tony Pajama's drift right now is just so good. It feels like against oh. Ivysaur, who's a really hard character to land against. He's getting back down to the ground easily. And that means that he's been in control. Nice. I, the I am shocked for tried to punish that. No way. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Could he have angled his shield or something to prevent I think from poking? You, you can wait longer, but you, you, risk, you risk the uh, the option of him like letting it go and it break it. Honestly, if you wait too long, it might, it might just break. So I don't know if he's ever going to break a full shield. Not a, well, if you wait, if it like hits you, hits you, hits you, hits you, and it's fully charged, yeah. It'll either break or poke. Can you shield the eye in order to get further away from it? Maybe. I think he, he tries to roll there, which I don't think, or jump, which is, you know, two, I thought that was wrong. No, I, I don't think so. Not yet. It was, it was too full. I was sure still is pretty good. Three, so, right. there was an early kill that game. Very early kill on Squirtle. But even with that, Tony low percent two stock. I think even without that early kill, he was playing extremely well. Oh, yeah. And honestly, let me talk about my mentality in picking stages when I play PT, and I know Quid agrees with this. If you feel like you're in a Squirtle matchup where you're mostly counting on your Squirtle, you pick FD or Kalos. What do you, what do you pick? Oh, we got the same PK Fire setup. Yeah, I think he's just reading his aggressive Squirtle, like jumping off from ledge options. Yes, but I also think Quid is super not ready to SDI. I mean, I mean how, you have to SDI so quickly. Yeah, but it's doable. It's really? very you think doable. so? 100%. 100%. 100%. Oh, that was so good. That it was. The down tuck option? He hit the sweet spot on the, uh, the upbeat. And he's bringing back this. this uh, this lead that Tony has. Yeah, but finally Tony is back in neutral, meaning he might be able to open Quid yeah. up for another really solid combo. Still need your kill move. And as I just oh, back throw? Maybe, maybe. Ah, barely. And now. Still Ivysaur now. Yeah. Honestly, uh, that, that's why what I was going to say was when you feel like you're in a Squirtle matchup, you pick FD. When you're in an Ivysaur matchup, you pick anything else. And this, I feel like, is an Ivysaur matchup for him right now. I feel like he's, his, his Ivysaur is doing much better than his Squirtle is. I think that's why you see him playing him even when he was at like almost zero. Oh. Nice oh, Razor Leaf, very smart. Okay, he's a doctor. He jumps. jumps. He jumps. He has no crutch either. He's dead. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, he knows he's not going to make yeah. it back. Tries to chase him down with the Thunder and quit recognizing that just outruns him. Yeah, and Tony, who started off this game so, so well with almost a zero to death, just with consistent, solid, neutral play. Quinn has basically turned this into not just a little bit of a lead, but a sizable one. Especially because he's able to continue to get this damage. Yeah, nice there. I think it's not out of the woods. I think a lot of these, like, early hits, nice. Wow, I didn't know to hit him. He's going to change immediately, right? Oh, he's going to say Squirtle. Interesting. Trying to pocket back back out, maybe change Ivysaur after. 
Yeah. No, he's just staying Squirtle. Interesting. Wow. I think maybe he's looking for a little more advantage in order to switch to uh, That's not on purpose. That is not on purpose. Oh, but listen. Is it back throw PK fire? That was surprising. Okay. I think he was looking for a really cheap early kill. Maybe. Like that. Oh, the double. And he could have just killed him. He touches him with a little, a little whip. Oh, yeah. Scary. Oh, man. The forward airs went big. There was the threat of that upbeat. Oh, boy. Yeah. He can't jump. He's threatening to jump so much right now. Yeah, he's threatening to jump. He's like, please do not jump over me. You will die for it. But then in the end, he approaches oh, on now the ground with a shield. Terrifying to be Ness here. So scary. And he's forced in order to use the up B right there. You get but grabbed, you're dead. F tilted, you're dead. Bared, you're dead. So many things are going to kill right now. And F tilted, one of them. Yep. Yeah. So Tony putting up a really nice sound show there, but then Quid's just consistent play. Yeah. Just being able to hit him. Like, Tony would get these huge combos that would lead to a death. Yeah. But other times he would get a single hit, and it would be like maybe two hits. Yeah. Maybe maybe 15, maybe 30%. Whereas Quid would get a single hit, and just all of a sudden now he's in disadvantage, and he's exploiting that over and over and over again. And I, that's really what helped take him to the victory. I agree with you. I think the other thing that's very important there is um, 